It starts off like any other relationship. It's the first blush of romance. She's on top of the world. It's what we're all searching for, the perfect love. The attention is intoxicating. It's so perfect. She doesn't see the warning signs. She can't see the warning signs. I didn't see it coming. started out as love becomes obsessive and possessive behaviour. The attention that was once exhilarating is now suffocating. This is when he starts to track her every move, trying to control every aspect of her life. He started to isolate me from my family, friends, colleagues, He destroyed every relationship I ever had. Until there was only him left in my life. I was all alone. The name calling escalates and soon her self-esteem and her confidence is shattered. I kept asking myself, what have I done to deserve this? Why? It must be my fault. Because he manipulates her into thinking she's wrong, she's crazy, she's a slut, she's worthless. He's an expert at that. He told me that I was lucky to have him, that no one would want me. One moment he's abusive, the next he's sweet. He's apologetic, he says he's never gonna do it again. And I believe him. When he feels he's losing control, he knows exactly how to reel her back in. I tried everything not to set him off again. Because I don't want the relationship to end. I just want the violence to stop. I was searching for love, I was searching for something and I thought this was it. And then I held on tight. She will never win. This is not about her, it's about his behaviour. And the violence won't stop. The very things he found attractive about her now are the very things he wants to destroy. When the penny finally drops and you realise this guy's your abuser, not your lover, you're trapped. You can't get out. He's isolated you from your family and your friends and you have nowhere to go. What do you do? Who is going to believe you when you lied? You covered it all up. You told everyone he was a nice guy. I was so ashamed. How did I get myself into this situation? The violence will increase in intensity and frequency. She'll be injured or even killed. The most dangerous time in this relationship is when she and the kids try to leave.
Two Australian women die from domestic violence every week. This week, another two women will die. This can happen to anyone. One in four Australian women from all walks of life live with domestic violence. Love is not controlling, possessive or manipulative. Love is not sexual jealousy or sexual violence. Love is not verbally or physically abusive. Love never hurts or kills. <laughs>